Hey crafters, how you doing? Let me get this monitor set up here. Talk to him. Hey, 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Hope you all are doing okay out there. Uh, hold on here. There we go. Crafters. It's the Crafting Cowboy Tom Creek, Creek Bank Creations. Good to see you all tonight. My name is Tom Creek, Creek Bank Creations. We're going to be doing the Triangle Gatefold card tonight, tractor version. My name is Tom Creek. My wife is Julie. We own Creek Bank Creations out of Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn and not too much more. And we're coming from you live from Perrysville uh, in our studio. We have our own line of dyes, rubber stamps, adhesives, tools, paper, accessories, and boy, are we ever glad to see you. We are going to have fun tonight. Julie's got some, some, some prizes to give away. And uh, we've been talking about uh, what we're going to share tonight. And uh, I tell you what, we were looking at Romans 8, chapter 8. We we're going to pull out a couple of verses out of Romans chapter 8, but doggone, go read the whole thing. It's, the whole thing's good because basically it's talking about... Uh, about um, we're more than conquerors in our suffering. Yeah, we're more than conquerors <laughs> in our suffering. There's a lot of suffering going on right now. This COVID thing, we got all the the riots happening, but uh, a lot of fear and a lot of fear. A lot of fear. But eight thirty one says, "If God is for us, who can be against us?" And guess what? Nothing can be against us if God is for us. Hold on to that. I encourage you to read that uh that chapter romans 8 uh this week and uh, see if it can lift you up blessing. A bit. oh and the blessing um elevation worship go to elevation worship they've got a song revolving all around that scripture it's really good so it's called the blessing, it's called the blessing. The song is called the blessing. yes yes it's called the blessing so this is the die we're going to be working with tonight it is the triangle gatefold card uh die which brings me to the bundle special that we have going on uh, <clears throat> the Triangle Gatefold Bundle Special. You're going to get the Triangle Gatefold Card die. You're going to be getting the Book Stand Card, the Pine Cone, which is a, a, a double die, both the both the uh, outside as well as the any Audi and the any, the outline of it. The Pine Branch Set. This is all basically designed for a Christmas card set. And then a the Merry Christmas stamp. Well, what's cool about this Merry Christmas stamp? Not only does it say from our home to yours, it says from my home to yours. And also, if you happen to live out on the farm, from our farm to yours, Merry Christmas. And so also, if you're single and you're making a card, if you're single and make, making a card, it mm -hmm. says from my home to yours. Or if you've got a family, from our home to yours. And the buffalo plaid stencil. That bundle is worth $80.94, and so we've got a sale price of $56.99. That's a savings of $23.95, but we're going to give you free freight, which saves you another 8 bucks on that. So you're looking at a savings of $32. That's, that's a whopper savings. And like we always say, we don't make a lot of, a lot of money around here. But, but we, we make a lot of friends. That's right. So let's get to our card. And see what we got here. So if you look at the die, crafters, I'm gonna turn the. I'm hey, gonna turn can, the I, can I say something? Yeah, Mrs. Craig has got something she wants to interject here. Go um, ahead, Mrs. Craig. Since everybody's kind of wondering about what in the world is going on with these shows and not having shows and all that stuff, um, you want to tell them about your paper arts gathering that you're doing in November. We had some phone calls today about shows and. Oh, okay. First of all, the schedule for August. As of right now, we're going to be in. Uh, Orlando uh, for Stamp Fest the first weekend of August. I believe that's the first and second of August. Is that I correct? I don't think so. I'll look here. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by the following weekend, we will be in Cincinnati, Ohio at uh, Stampway 2020. 
And then uh, the 21st and 22nd, we will be in Indianapolis at the Heirloom Rubber Stamp and Scrapbook Show, uh, or Paper Arts Festival, as they call it. Uh, also, we have our own event, uh, the Creek Bank Creations IPAG, Indiana Paper Arts Gathering in Danville, Indiana, which is just outside of Indianapolis at the Hendricks County Fairgrounds. We're, we're expecting about 150 crafters. You get your own eight-foot table. We'll be vendoring there. We'll be teaching classes. We will also... Are you teaching the class? I will not be teaching no, classes, Mrs. Craig, we. but I will be the master of ceremonies. Lots of door prizes. I'm going to cater four meals. Uh, it goes from, uh, let's see, Friday at 10 a.m. all the way till Sunday at 4 p.m. And uh, we're going to have a, a great time there. We'll be vendoring there, of course. Uh, we'll be doing make and takes continually all weekend long. We usually have a great time. We'd love to have you come for that. Uh, it's 135 bucks for the entire weekend, and that includes your, your meals and your table. And we have a block of rooms uh, at the uh, hotel at the uh, Holiday Inn in Plainfield, Indiana, uh, which uh, with a super room rate. Uh, and I think you can get as many as four people in a room, which could really lower that room, those accommodation, because you want more warm in your pocket so you can buy all kinds of goodies and stuff anyway. So with that, let's get back to the card. That's called the Indiana Paper, Ar Paper Arts Gathering. The first weekend in November, that would be the first and second of November. Um, so let's look at that die. So in that die, which is here, you're going to get... The base, okay, plus you're getting two hex shapes, kind of nesting inside each other, okay, plus you're getting, and those are stitched by the way, get a stitch right there, and then you're, you're going to get two stitched triangles, okay, so I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to get started, so, let me hang get on, that. hang on, we're going down, we're going down baby, There we go. Yeah. You're going to have to pull the whole base to you by about four inches. And we have a really good view of the tops of the... You're going to have to move your... Yeah, I usually put those on the side. <clears throat> pull your pad. There, there we go. That's looking good. Your, can you raise your camera at all to give you give you a little bit more depth there? I can. A larger surface to work on. You're probably going to need it. <clears throat> Kathleen says that's perfect. 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 Thank you, Kathleen. Okay. So, we're going to take our, our base die. Okay. And we've used that die, and we cut this green cardstock. Now that die also scored our paper, so we're simply just gonna, gonna fold down on our score marks there. Oh, I could, I folded two up. Let's just fold one of those. Put right that, right there, okay. So, <laughs> <What's the matter? laughs> how many did you have? Well, I had two of them. I, I didn't realize there were two of them. Does it fit on the standard cutting platform? Not only does it fit on the st standard, st the the st yes, indeed, it stand it works on the standard cutting platform. If, but you got to be careful because that's a long die. Okay, it's almost an exact fit. Yes, it's all. Mrs. hit the nail on the head. It's almost an exact fit. We prefer the extended platform because it gives us a little wiggle room. But if you don't have the extended platform, you can still use the die on the standard platform. And I'm referring to the Sissix machines, whether it be a Big Shot or Vagabond or electric big shot. Uh, so, there we go on that. So, back to, back to uh, the card. So, I, I cut that with the die, and the score marks are already in it, so it's already folded. Uh, I took that stamp, and anticipating your presence tonight, I already pre-stamped this. And since this is a tractor card, I put from our farm to yours. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take some of our super tacky tape, which we've already put on there. 
use the quarter inch. By the way, we still have this on special, two rolls a quarter inch and two rolls a half. For $13, that special is going to go on probably till the end of the month, but once we go on the road in August, that special is going to end, so if you need to stock up, now's the time to do it. You got another two weeks to get that special. Like I said before, that's 27 yards a roll. Four yards, or four rolls at 27 yards is 108 yards. That's one football field and eight yards towards a first down. So that is a lot of tape. So, so I took the tape off, and now I'm going to just center that on my card just like that. If you hold the opposite corners, Mr. Creek, it'll help you get that lined up better. Is that right? Well, I've yeah. got it lined up pretty good, Mrs. Green. I'm looking pretty darn good on that. I'm going to rub that tape in. Okay. And now then, we are going to go and set this to the side because now, as you look on the card, of course, it also has the belly band there. Yeah, we also stenciled that outside flap. So what we did was we used our buffalo oh, plaid fine. stencil. Hey, Carmen, how you doing? We used our buffalo plaid stencil, and what we're going to do with that now is we are going to um, we're going to get some super tacky tape, and we're just going to lay out a piece, two pieces of super tacky tape on our grid mat. The reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to stencil tonight, and we don't want our paper moving around on us. Because when your paper moves around on it, when you stencil, you don't have a very good stencil job. Is it still, is the How picture? How hot was it today, Tom? It wasn't too bad. It was in the 80s today, lower 80s. Okay, so what we've done here is we've taken these two stitched triangles, okay? And I pre-cut those. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now. pre-cut those? Yes, Mrs. Creek. Oh my gosh, when did you do that? I am a die cutting <laughs> son of a gun. Let me tell you what, okay? So I'm going to take that and I'm going to tape this. These are stitched. But I'm going to tape this right on my grid panel, or not my grid panel, my uh, grid pad. And what I like is because I have all these lines, I can get it on there straight. So that way, since I'm going to be having a stencil side on both sides of my cards, I don't want one to go into left field and one to go into right field. I want them to be symmetrical. So because I put that tape down, I'm going to take the edge of this die cut. And I'm going to put it on one of these lines, just like this right here. Okay. And what I like to do is take that point, and I'll write it on there, and lined up on the edges. The point's there. I'm lined up on this edges. I've got my tape down. I'm going to get it square, just rub that in, and come over here and do the same thing on the other side. Again, right there in the center, right here on the lines. You see the line right there? You're, you're doing this like you really know what you're you doing. You would think the crafting cowboy knows how to craft, wouldn't you? You would think. Boy, I can fake it really good, can't you're I? You're doing great, Tom. Why is it not sticking? It is sticking. It okay. just it wasn't sticking where I wanted it. Do you use undo? I do, but I didn't I didn't I did not press it yet. So I was Oh, Cindy had fried green tomatoes for supper. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, so there I've got that taped down. So those two triangles aren't gonna go anywhere. So now I'm gonna take my buffalo plaid stencil. Here it is. Buffalo plaid. Won't you Are come you out sure tonight? Dry? Yeah, I'm positive, Mrs. Creek. I'm positive. Not, Mrs. Creek was was quizzing me as to see if I did the proper prep crafters. So what I want to do with this this buffalo plaid stencil is I'm going to take and I'm going to line it up on the grid panel as well, across that top line and across the side and along the side because I want it to be square. Okay. Then I'm going to take my purple tape and I'm going to tape that down in four spots. Because I don't want it moving around because Mrs. Creek says I get to be a little violent in my stencil technique. But that's me. It's just my, my style. And then we're going to take our J brush, which we've told you about before. This is the, the crafting brush that Julie designed. 
has a large barrel so you can grip it. It's especially nice if you happen to have uh, arthritis or a corporal tunnel because it's easy to grip. Cap comes off and it has a ring that slides up and down, up and down. And by sliding it up and down, you can change the density of the bristles. So if I want it to stencil light, I'm going to choke it down, allows the bristles to fan out. If I want it to stencil dark, I'm going to choke it up tight. Because of this buffalo plaid stencil, it has a lot of, of detailed work in it, that's, and it's pretty dense. So I want to choke it up tight because I want it to be dark tonight. That's, the, that's how I like to do it. I want to take the Kathy Pooler Blackjack uh, die, um, and I'm going to grab the black, and I'm going to get that. So we're using dye based. Yeah, we're using dye based ink. This is not the. This is not the. This is not the, wa this is not the water. This is not the water based. This is dye based. This is the permanent stuff, right, Mrs. Creek? No. No. This is water based. Based ink. This is dye based ink. Which is water reactive. You called it dye when you were talking. Is all I'm saying. Well, it says premium dye ink. Yes. All right. So what did I say wrong, Mrs. Creek? You called it dye. You just said it was dye. Oh, it's dye. This is not dye crafters. This is ink. Okay. Dye ink. Which is dye ink. Yeah, don't kill the ink. The, de the ink's dying. Okay, get some ink on there. Okay, now Mrs. <laughs> likes to go into circular motion. I'm not a circular no, motion kind of guy. No, I'm talking about on the stencil, okay. Mrs. Creek. We're, we're, we're changing gears here. Thank you very much. Awesome. Appreciate the coaching there. She's a good coach. She really is. She taught me everything I knew. In fact, <laughs> I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for her crafters. Now, <laughs> as I told you before, and I want you to listen to me on this, okay? As Can I you told you, call her Kathy Pooler. Kathy Pooler. Yeah. <laughs> we, like I said before, we've sold enough of Kathy Pooler's ink. I think we're intimate enough. We can call her Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get a phone call. Kathy Pooler. All right. <laughs> so anyway, when you're stenciling crafters, what you're going to do is you're going to start on your blotter or your 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 um, grid pad first, not on your card, because you're probably going to have splotches, and you might as well have the splotches on what you're going to throw away, not what you're going to use. So we're gonna we're gonna go back and forth on this on these pieces of cards. We're going to get that covered really well as I get ink all over the place. They can't see that, Tom. I guess they didn't you see that. They won't know. Okay. And you have that awesome wonder wipe to clean up. Yeah, that. indeed I do, don't I? Are you all with me still? If you have any questions during this process, we'll be happy to field those questions. Although I won't be answering them tonight, Mrs. Creek will, but she just went to the refrigerator to get something to drink. Boy, there she goes. She's just leaving me in the lurch. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, yeah. She's always got to get her diet Mountain Dew. The lady is incomplete unless... Did I ever tell you that when we go on the road, you know, the first thing we do is stop at a grocery store and buy her two cases of, of diet Mountain Dew just to get her through the weekend. Yeah. The lady's addicted to the stuff. You know, you know, they say that that diet Mountain Dew is practically poison. I think... Vonda said it sounds like they're sawing. I, I think... I think that... She could be embalmed with that stuff. Okay. I'm a little darker on the right than I am on the left, so I want to get a little more ink on the left here. Get that in there really good. Now, the reason why I'm, I'm doing it so intensely is because with that buffalo plaid, there's a lot of very intricate little cuts in there. And it, it, so there's a lot of area where there's actually stencil and not open space, and I want to be sure that I get good penetration on it. Okay, so when, when I'm done, I'm going to choke up my collar on my J-brush. Pull that up, put my cap on, put that away. By the way, the J brushes are on special. Diet Mountain Dew is good for a happy marriage. It is. I tell you, who, who made that comment? I did. Oh, you did? Oh, I was going to say, yeah, I was going to say, yes, if you don't have it, you're not a happy camper. So, yeah, that would be correct. So, I'm going to pull the tape off here. Throw the tape away. Tom, how do you keep your brushes clean? How do I keep Romaine my brushes would clean? Like to know. Who would? Romaine. 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 I want to Am tell I you. Am saying that right? Romaine. What I do is first of all, they're all dedicated to a different color. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take probably a wet wipe because I don't want to get ink all over my Wonder mm -hmm. Wipe unnecessarily. So take a wet wipe and I'll wipe it off, just the just the whole head. Okay. 
Now, I can do that on a regular basis without any problem. And when it comes time to wash it, I will take it to the sink and I'll put a little Dawn detergent on it. No, no, just cold water. Just cold water. Get water. that Dawn detergent, Dawn. Don, Don, go away. You're no good for me. <laughs> Just, cold <water. laughs> Just cold water. Why not Don? You don't need it. Who said? I did. <laughs> you know, you but, what are, if, but, but what if I want to really get it clean? You don't. You, cold water. Cold water. Until the ink runs out. Cold water. That's what. And, and then. You pull the band up. And then pull the. And, but, but wring out the water with a paper towel and get the, get the excess water and then pull the band up for it to dry. Let it dry overnight. Let it dry overnight. And in the morning, you should be good to go. Let's see, Vonda said, Tom, the only answer is yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, mine. Yes, ma'am. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over okay, here. So that was how to clean it. Right. We're cleaning it off on a wet wipe. Um, putting it in the so hold on, we've got ladies to have questions. Okay, here. I'm gonna hold I on. I did not realize they were all for special color. Yes, Romaine, one per color family. Tom, why don't you show them that? Here block. we here, here's the block, Romaine. Okay, you'll look at the at the block here. We 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 sell these in six packs, eight packs, and singles. Okay, if you buy a six pack or an eight pack, you're gonna get the color chart to identify your brushes with a with an adhesive hand. And then you take a circle punch and you punch out the the uh, the color ring for the top. But what we do is, for example, we have one per, per color family because you don't have to have one for every color of ink. So with this, what we do is uh, we use all our oranges and all different shades of oranges with the same orange brush. Same thing with the green. Same thing with the blue. Now the special on those brushes is you can get six of them for thirty nine dollars or you can get eight for 52 on top of that special, which if that wasn't special enough. Okay, you didn't say when they get those, they get the color card free. Yeah, I did. You get okay. the color card free if you buy a six pack or an eight pack. But if you use the coupon code sunshine, you're gonna get 20% off of that $39 and $52 or $52, which makes it a super deal. Okay. Another question. Yes. What's the difference between the circular motion and the up and down motion? Who asked, who, asked that, who asked that question? That. Who did? Dory, Dory, I want to tell you right now, there's a big difference. The difference is I like to do the back and forth motion and Mrs. Creek likes to do the circular motion. In my opinion, my procedure is the best. Okay. From the, From the crap cowboy himself who, and I don't crap. However, I think I get better penetration with the brushes uh, than Mrs. Creek does with, when she when she's doing with the with the circular motion. So uh, and I want to get that ink penetrated in that stencil to make it happen. So what I do is not any other questions before I go on. No, you're doing great. Okay, now I'm going to take this undo. Now don't worry about the undo because it's not going to hurt the die cut uh, because I taped that down. I'm going to notice I got undo on there. It's not making anything smear. I'm going to set that to the side right here. I'm going to a little bit more. There we go. Okay, now undo will we'll temporarily suspend that adhesion of that tape so it allows us to pull that off. Then I'm going to take my Creek Bank Creations Wonder Wipe. Da -da -da -da, Wonder Wipe. This is the wet one. In a set, you get a dry and you get a wet one. It depends on which one you want. You might want to make the yellow one your wet one or the blue one your dry one. But we use, we choose to make the the blue one, the wet one, because water is sometimes blue. Like if you go to the ocean or something, hence blue would be wet. <laughs> so anyway, we take our Wonder Wipe and we wipe that stencil down, clean that off, because you want it to be clean for the next time you go to work, because you, wanna, you don't want to have to stop cleaning. Not to mention if you have ink on it and you put it in your storage area, you'll probably get ink all over your storage area. And what's cool about this is you just rinse it out in the sink, wrap it up. And what is also cool about when this puppy dries, it doesn't get like a hockey puck and get hard as a brick. It's always soft and supple, even when it, whether it's wet or dry. And it's reusable and washes right out. And we have those, what are those, $6.99 a pair? That's not my department. You get two Wonder Wipes for $6.99. And again, if you use the sunshine code, what do you get? That's right, you get 20% off. They're $6.99 less 20%. If you use the sunshine code, okay. So take it off and clean this up now. We're going to go back to our card. So here's our card again, and now I'm going to put these 
these little triangles on. But we're not going to use tape on this because Mrs. Creek says we need to use the the uh, art glitter glue because uh, there's a reason why you're using the art glitter glue, right, Mrs. Creek? Yes, the reason is that you don't want the points um, getting stuck on the belly band when you pull it on and off. As you see, I, I've got my, uh, my bottle bubble there, bobble here. Uh, I don't normally pick out pink, but uh, uh, Mrs. Creek is, I'm, I'm borrowing her tools tonight, okay? We have these in assorted colors, and these are pretty cool. Just goes in the end of that little tip there. I don't have my reading glasses on. Crafty Girl wants to know what that is, so can you explain to her why you're doing This that? is the bottle bubble, okay? When you get your, when you buy your glue, Crafty Girl, okay, it doesn't come with that metal tip. It just comes with that plastic tip. But we get this metal tip, and it's a, it's a fine point metal tip, okay? And we, and we just tighten that on there, okay? But then... Okay, make sure you're on screen. We put the bottle bubble. It's got a little pin there. You see that little pin? Okay? It goes right in that bottle. Ah, I bet I was too aggressive there. Okay? Put that in there. But see, it's a little decorative uh, thing for on my table. So, so I can identify my glue from my my uh, my crafting buddy's glue. No. What, what is the reason? When you, buy this, <laughs> when you buy the stainless steel head, yes. it comes with a straight pin. Okay. Pin, and it gets lost all okay. the time. You're never going to lose your pin You're anymore. You're not going to lose your pin because it's attached to that bottle bobble. And what's, an more, accessory. what's more, if you buy two of these, you can take that. <laughs> And you can make earrings with them too. And so, so if you go, if you if you go if you use those for earrings, and then you go to the craft uh, um, event, you can just pull them out of your ears and put them right in there. And boy, are you ready to go! But anyway, that's what it is. It's called a bottle bobble. In all seriousness, it comes in assorted colors. If you if you order those, tell us what color you like, and we'll do our best to to match up what colors. So we've got pinks and reds and purples and a variety of different colors. So. And those are on our website, and those are also 20% off. So getting back here to the card here, I need to, I need to, I put my glue away. I need to pull that back out. It's, put, I'm going to put some glue on there, and uh, see where I'm at here. Can you see me? Yeah. You got lots of Pennsylvania ladies. Hey, ladies from Pennsylvania, PA. How y'all doing out there tonight? I hope you're having fun. Hope you're having as much fun as we are. With the cowboy that doesn't craft. I, and by the way, I don't craft. Did I tell you that already? Okay. Sandy right. from Indianapolis. Hey, Sandy. Is that Sandy Bassard? Uh -huh, it is. Hey, Sandy. How are you? Okay, so I got my glue on there. I'm going to slide that over here. I want to put that. I'm going to center that on there. Just like that right there. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. There we go. You're doing great. Look at that, huh? Look at that craft and Okay, and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to do the same thing. You got it on there straight. I did. I did, didn't I? Didn't, did it look like I did? I don't know. I'm going to put that Are right you on. halfway? I, I'm pretty close. Shall we give something hey, away? we're going to give something away. Let me let me get this glue down for him here first. Well, I can do it while you're doing that. Well, then they're not going to be paying attention on how to put this properly assembled. I think they know how to glue. Okay, all right. They know how to glue, but I'm just going to show them right here okay. what we're doing. Put on there. Okay, Mrs. Creek, go ahead. I'm going to press that down just like that. And go ahead, Mrs. Creek is going to give away a prize. Okay, so we have a question for you tonight. Can you hear, can you, can you hear Mrs. Creek, by the way? Oh, Loretta. By the way. So um, we haven't met for what? Has it been a week and a half or two weeks? How long has it been? Since, no, yeah. Two weeks. It's been two weeks. So in two weeks, we've our son went on vacation and left us to do all the gardening, which was a lot. So we were like gardening every night. So uh, something came into the garden, a, a raccoon came in the garden, and they ate two plants out of the garden. So your question for tonight is, what were the two plants, the two vegetables that the raccoons ate out of the garden? They killed one section. Yes, they did. And what are they going to win, Mrs. Creek? They are going to win a collection of self-adhesive pearls. Uh, hand, hand those to me. Let me show them. How many did you get? I don't know. What do we got? We got your light green. We got your royal blue. We got your red. We got your purple. Do, are we, we got your black. Hey, 
Vonda won. And we got the yellow one. Vonda won? Vonda Already? Vonda. Yep. Tomatoes she got both of them? Peppers. Yes, and she sure did. did you, you didn't ask for a specific name of the pepper? Um, are you going to ask for a specific name? Of well, the it's pepper? a little late now. We, we, we can't do it now because you already declared a winner. So. Okay, well, she said Vonda. tomatoes and Vonda, peppers. you're correct. Vonda is a winner, winner. Did she say what animal got, the, got them? Or no, is that... I, I told him that. Oh, you I already told him that? A All right, put Vonda's name on that if you would okay. so we don't forget that. Now that we're going back to our card crafters, okay, so we're going to take that large hex shape that comes in the die, okay, and we are going to cut our green hexagon shape, and then we already pre-rubber stamped this, and I have my tractor, which I use the small shape with, right there, okay. Um, now I'm going to adhere this to uh, or with, do I? Yes, I do. I'm yes. going to adhere that with the super tacky tape, crafters. So I'm just going to take my super tacky tape and I'm going to put it on the back of the smaller one. Now there's probably questions on why we're using tape on some of it and why we're using glue on the others. And what was the answer to that question, Mrs. Creek? The reason that we're using the liquid on the triangle is because those little points want to stick out and when we slide the belly band over the top, we do not want the belly band catching on the little points of the triangle. So I use the liquid glue because it gets the glue all the way out to the point. Did you get that? How about that for an answer? Okay, so I've, I've got that back covered with the super tacky tape. Diane said to Diane, uh, where's Diane from? Is she from Iowa? She said she comes to River Retreat House, Ungren. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, she's she from Ohio. 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 She said that is the wrong color of tractor. Well, Diane, what is cool about, the, about that rubber stamp, the tractor's rubber stamp, is you can make that a red one and a gray one, or you can make that an orange one, or you can make that a, a, a blue one. Uh, you can make that about any color tractor you want. It just so happens to be a green one tonight. So, but you're right, Diane, because I think a certain member of your family doesn't work on green tractors. He works on a different brand of tractors, if I'm not mistaken. And I think there's a lot of red and gray and maybe a lot of blue in your family, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. in regard to tractors, that is. You probably like that stamp from our farm to yours, uh, Diane. By the way, crafters, we you are- You can even make a rusty one. Very true. Oh, yes, yeah, she could. Yes, she could. So Tom holds everything upside down. Are you holding everything upside down? Holding everything upside down? It doesn't look like it on the thing. I don't know. Or maybe it's just- Red is the color of choice on this farm. Okay, we should do- We'll have to do a red. Subject. Do a red one next time. All right, so now that I'm going to put that on there, I'm going to center that on there evenly around that stitched mark. Ah, I didn't do it. Oh, need a little undo. Let's scrape a booger to that. You're okay, just undo it. I'm undoing. Undo is my friend. Can you push your grip pad forward a little bit on the table? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I still don't have that straight. Well, that's what I'm used for. Orange. Now they're all claiming their color. Claiming their color? So you're going to have to. I want to spread that under around in case I boot it up again. Yeah. Huh? Do you know anybody that does that? So if you wanted to make sure it was straight the first time, you could have prepped the surface with undo. I could have. And then you could have moved it around wherever you want. Indeed, I could, but I still don't have it where I want it. Good thing we have that undo, right, crafters? Yes. There it is. Okay, so now I've got it on there. Okay. And now then I'm going to take, and I'm going to apply this to my belly band. Now here's my belly band right here. Okay. And the belly band... Let me get my school board out here. The belly band is all of one inch by 10 inch, which you're going to cut with your uh, paper cutter. Okay, one inch by 10 inch. Then we take our score board here and we're going to grab our 
stylus. There it is. Get out of there. Okay. Can you look at the camera and see what your view is? Yeah, I need okay. to move okay. it over Just here where they can see. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over two and a quarter inches, and I'm going to score that at two and a quarter inches right there. Okay. Then I'm going to now go go uh, a little bit further over, and I'm going to score at two and three okay, eighths. Hold on, we're going to score at what? Score at two and a quarter and two and three eighths. Okay, just two like that. Two and a quarter and two and three eighths. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to score it twice again. I'm going to score it at six and a half. Right there at six and a half, and then I'm going to score it at six and five eighths. Right there. See, I've got two score marks here. I've got two score marks there. Put this up. Put it down the wall. And then I'm going to fold that over. <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off before I stick it because I'm going to uh, uh, put it on my card before I stick that. But I do have to stick my tractor. I usually put the belly band on the card and then put the tractor on. Well, normally we do it that way, but what we're going to do tonight is we're going to put the belly band on first and then we're going to stick it, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our card here. We're going to put that belly band on just like that right there. You see that right there? Okay. And then we're going to come on this, this side where we already put our tape on. Now, the trick on this is don't make your belly band too tight because you want it to be able to slide up and down, but yet you want it to stay. So give yourself a little bit of extra, extra room there. Tape that on, bingo, we're there. Now I'll flip that puppy over. And now then we're gonna, we're gonna put some more tape on that. Where'd my tape go? Here it is. Put some tape right in the center, right there. Look at that, would you? Would you look at that? You're doing it, Mr. Creek. And then we're going to pull that off right there. And then we're going to center that tractor right there on the card. And look at that. How about that? Okay. And then pull that belly band off. And the card opens up. And just Put the belly band back on. So when you're putting that belly band on and off like you're doing right now, do you see how if those points aren't stuck down really well, they end up getting caught on the belly band, the points of the triangle? So that's why I like to use the liquid glue. And then do you want to share with them about your card? Um, card stand, your yes. Card stand die. That of, course, of course, now we also have the card stand die. That's, all, that's part of the bundle. And this is the card stand die right here. Okay. And we've already cut that right there. It's scored in the middle. I can just hold it up right there. And put my... Look at your camera so that you can see what they're seeing. How about that? Can you see they that? They can't see it. They can't see that? Uh -uh. Can you see it now? Look at there. See how it's standing up? No, pull it forward more. Are you done with your demonstration? Okay. No, oh, I turned it over. No, I can't yeah. see it. I think you're done with your demonstration and you should pull the camera up to your face. Okay. So they can see it. It's going to be upside down, right? I'm not sure. Hey, you need to warn them. I'm up. Hey, I'm moving. I'm moving. <laughs> you're it. You right. got me on there. All right, I'm trying Did you to hit pick. the backwards button? I'm looking. I'm on the camera right now. I know, I see that, so and I'm upside I'm down. I'm upside down. All right. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm trying to. Come. I can't see. <laughs> I don't have my reading glasses on, Miss Street, to see which thing to push. Boy, hi, crafters. Stay with me here, will you? Is that the one? I think I hit it twice. Sorry, guys. Okay, I think you're there. Hey, we're back. We're back. Thanks, thanks yourself? for your patience. I can see myself. Okay. okay. So some other so, ideas. Let me on, show you that card on. stand. We got some here. questions we need to Some address. questions. Let's address some questions. So the card stand. Here's the card stand. The card stand die takes a half a sheet of paper. Half a sheet of paper. And show them if you lay a it flat. A half a sheet of paper? A half of eight and a half by 11. Okay. Show them if you lay the, it flat on the back, it'll fit in the envelope with the card. Oh, so you, so you take it like this right here? 
but just like that, put it in the card. No. No. <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh. Like that. So you, see, can mail it. so you can do it just like that. Now, I would normally mail it like this. That way they know what it is. You know what I'm saying? But different strokes for different folks, you know. Hey, you pack your envelopes one way, and I'll pack okay. my envelopes my way. You How's will, because awesome? you okay. marched the <laughs> Now, let me show you some other cards we made with this die, because this is this is not a one-trick pony. You know what I mean by one-trick pony? One-trick pony means you can only do one thing, not this stuff. Uh-uh, let me show you. For example, here's a card we made with the anchor. Look at that. The little belly band. See that? Isn't that nice? Used her. Used a, what, so, what is the wave stencil on the that? waves. Mm -hmm. So sometimes you want to use both hex on the front, like I did right there. Yes. Did you but see? I also stuck that hex on the inside. Ah. So you can kind of layer the, the hex too. shapes. So more, more uses versatility. Can ladies. you, for the people who came in late, we had some people who came in later, mm -hmm. and they don't really understand like what, what the die. Can you quickly go over the components of the die? I'd be happy to. I'd be happy to. But let me show them these cards first. And okay. I'll go over those components, okay. okay? So that's one version, okay? Now here's another version. Well, this time we didn't use a belly, a belly, a belly band. We used Velcro tabs for that closure. So open that up again and show them how the circle stamps that go with the circle flip. See that circle stamp, the happy anniversary the circle stamp? bezel of the hex shape. Those are on the Creek Bank Creations this is, website. This cards from Diane Wilcox in Ohio. Very nice work. And then we used our Indy and Audi um, alphabet set for the 50, where you go 25 or 35 or 65. Some or, people are more committed than others. Maybe you only go five, you know, if you need a big five there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me show you another one. <laughs> Oh, here's that Christmas card that we were talking about where we, where we that's part of that bundle special right there. You know, and again, the Christmas see Merry card Christmas is what stamp. The, our uh, YouTube Buffalo video plant. that we released. That's yeah. the video. Yeah, we just did a YouTube video. It's on the YouTube thing. What is that video called, Mrs. Creek? It's yeah. called the Triangle Gatefold Card. Triangle Gatefold Card. Let's see here. Here, Oh, here's another one with the 50. This is, again, she used the Velcro on that. Use some of our purple pattern paper That's there. The purple party paper pad. All right. And if you didn't make it to 50, don't worry about it. We got a 25th anniversary card right here. Okay. And that one, is that just stationary or does that open up too? Oh, yeah, here it is. right there. Yeah. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Can you see that? There we go. Oh, here's another version just for you using our teddy bear stamp. I think that's off the barn door stamp. It is. That one and then the just for face. you, the just for you die. And uh, got a couple more here I'll show you. But th we did have a question about those dies. Well, finish your samples. Okay, let me finish my samples. Here's one with that happy birthday cupcake. So that's the buffalo plaid with pink. I'm drifting, I'm drifting. Hang on here. Sorry about that. You just that. need to tighten it up. Here we go. Again. And then the buffalo plaid, like Mrs. Creek said, in pink. You're not just don't have to stay with gray all the time. No. All right. And remember that if the craft and cowboy can do it, anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. Because the craft and cowboy doesn't really craft. Because I don't really craft. Let me get that belly band back on that one. All right. Oh, here's another cool Christmas card as well. Just trying to give you some ideas using that that was using the piece die. That's the dove die. The dove die. Also has piece on it, does oh that was no, right. Hey, look at that. You got those palm, those pine branches there. Isn't that cool? That was velcroed. <clears throat> Back to the sunshine theme. Put a little sunshine in somebody's life there. Sunshine. So that has the belly band on it. With oh, it acetate. does. Excuse me. It has so acetate that has on it. The acetate. That's it was the, invisible. That's why I was having a problem. The lightweight right acetate, and you can score it and use it just like paper. See that right there? And here is a card using our. So, you all have lots of you have that sunshine stuff, so that's a great way to use the sunshine stuff. Belly band goes on there. You don't have to put the bands back on. Okay. And last of all, here's another sunshine card. Again, with the acetate belly band. Right there. Right there. You're upside down. I'm upside down. Yep. I, 
I've showed it upside down. <laughs> that is the card that we're doing in the make and take and, in Florida. And we use the sunshine uh, paper pad. Come do too. the make and take and make that card. Now let's talk about those dies. What you get in that hold die? On, hold on. Yes. Are you going to show them the calendars? And oh, the oh, this is this is really cool, because remember when you cut, use that base base card, okay? You can also make a calendar base. Check that out. Just by simply folding it where the score marks are. Just no, another, no, no, no. You need to add a score mark in the middle. You need to add a score mark in the middle on this, okay? okay. Because you got to have it like yes. a tent. Yeah, like a tent right there. And Diane Wilcox did this. So you just center that. Here's the here's the die. Here's the die right here. So you just center that right in there, and then it would fold under. And then uh, what was the other one? Oh, this, just for you. Yep. This one right here. Here's another version where she took it again and she just scored it right down the middle. And that stands up on its own. Show them there like there. from the side view, show them that. Because that, that, that one looks really cool. That's a really nice thing side to get view. Side view. And it, it was, whoops, it'll stand up right on your desk. Isn't okay, cool? Sharon's asking about. So um, I got to answer that other question. Sharon, um, that's at here. Those, the, the yellow calendar was at here. With the diagonal gatefold die, okay, there's the die right there. You're going to get the base die. You're going to get two stitch triangles. And you're going to get two hex shapes. A large, excuse me, that's the small. Here's the large, a large and a small. So it's a one, two, three, five piece die set. And don't forget that bundle special, which for those of you who are coming late, okay, you're getting the triangle die, you're getting the palm branch, you're getting the pine cone, you're getting the card stand, you're getting the Merry Christmas stamp, and you're getting the buffalo plaid. Normally $80.94, special price of $56.99. That's a $23.95 saving, but you're also going to get free freight, which is going to save you another eight bucks. So that is a $32 savings for you. So take advantage of me on that. It's called the Triangle Gatefold Bundle. Also, we've had a lot of questions about this. It is finally in. The acetate has arrived. That's right. The acetate has arrived uh, for the spiral uh, pop-up die. Uh, I know you've been, we've been waiting on it. Believe it or not, COVID has delayed the delivery on this because they've been using it for face masks all over okay believe it or not we got the medium weight which is what you need specifically for the spiral pop-up die and then we also have a lightweight for if you're making shaker cards okay they're both priced at $12.99 there's 12 sheets per package uh, and you'll find those on our website again use the sunshine code uh, use the code sunshine for 20 percent off and are you going to give away something else, Mrs. Creek? Yeah, I was thinking there was something else you should that you were supposed to be telling them, and I got. Psyched. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to be telling. Them. It's about the Scrapbook Expo. We are going to be on the Scrapbook Expo Dies to Die for uh, this Thursday. It's going to be at 8:20 p.m. Eastern Time, uh, and uh, tune in. That's both on Facebook and YouTube. Got a great show for you. Um, we're going to be doing a card, uh, and we are going to be providing creativity and entertainment on that one. It's uh, hilarious. They need to watch it's it. It's really it's pretty funny. the funniest video we've ever done. We, Tom is unleashed. We think it's the funniest video we've ever done, and we've done about 70 of them now. So we'd love for you to tune in and join us and comment and talk to us during that event. If uh, we're going to... If they think they're going to want to place an order, it would be a good idea to order before Thursday. Oh, good idea. We're going to be doing another version of the um, of the uh, Triangle Gatefold card. So if you think you want the bundle, order it now, uh, or else you could be waiting up to a week before I can get it out to you because we usually get slammed after those events because uh, there's several hundred viewers uh, uh, at the same time on that. So we'd love to love to take care of you on that. Any other questions, Mrs. Creek, that we need to field? Um, we need to ask a question, and then you have one more project. Okay, we're going to ask a question, and we're going to what are we giving away? We're giving away the the 
stamp. We're going to give away the happy birthday balloon stamp. That's right. It's a $10 stamp. What's the question, Mrs. Creek? Um, what plumbing problem got fixed this week at River Retreat House? Okay, first of all, what? A busy week. First of all, what the heck is River Retreat, right? Well, okay. Um, uh, River Retreat. Julie and I have owned a bed and breakfast in beautiful Perrysville, Indiana, for crafters, and uh, accommodates up to ten crafters at a time. And we uh, took care of a major. What did you say? Did what kind of issue did you say? I don't want to give it away. Hold on. Okay, um, they're already guessing. Uh, did you give the question? I did not. Okay, they're already guessing. The shower drain, flooded basement, toilet not working, clogged sink. Did you give the question? I did not give the question. What kind of plumbing problem did you work on? You gave the question, yes. What kind of plumbing problem did we work on? this week and shower is close but it's Garments not disposal, it's not bathroom it's sink, not the uh, the whole thing well sink dip toilet water softener these are these are good these are good come on ladies these are shower good. leaking through the ceiling above oh my gosh no 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 we don't want that problem no this was water. a this was a major Washer. project Iron filter, bathtub. We don't have a bathtub, it's a shower. No water at all. This that happened. Oh my gosh, that's this, this air conditioning, ice maker, replace the shower stall, the bathroom sink, replace the faucet. Okay, the I'll give you a hint. I'll give you a hint. Shower plug, the air conditioner leak. This was done shower. outside. It was done outside, and it wasn't just a fix. This was a permanent fix. It was a fix. rather large problem. Flood, shower head. Water from shower under the bathroom this, floor. This air conditioning shower pipes to shower head. This included. Closet. This Out included. Is going for the outdoor shower. This included heavy equipment. Such okay. A As a matter of fact, two pieces AC, of heavy equipment. Shower head clog, water pipe, water spigot outside. And three workers besides me there to coach him. <laughs> Sewer. Sir, that's right. <laughs> Diane Unprint. Yes, we replaced <laughs> we replaced a sewer line. That's right. No more clogged toilets at River Retreat. It's a rather large run. project. It was a large project, and we were hoping we weren't going to have to do it, but doggone it, it just got to the point where we 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 stand it so much we couldn't stand it no more. But it's all done. Who won? Diane uh, mm -hmm. Ungren won. Congratulations, yes, Diane. Even though she doesn't have a green tractor. Even though you don't have a green tractor, you're going to have a happy birthday stamp. We'll get that out to you this week. Crafters, we no, appreciate it. You have a scrapbook layout to show. Oh, I've got a scrapbook. Ladies, I worked on this all day long. I'll tell you what. This is, I made this with the uh, triangle gatefold card. Uh, <laughs> as a scrapbook. I you know, I have so much fun when I scrapbook with the girls. If they're at River Retreat, they feed me really good. Usually I come in there and they'll give me dinner, probably some Italian beef or maybe some I really, caramels. Sometimes, I, get sometimes caramels. I get caramels. I especially like Mexican night. Oh, that's really good. All right. Anyway, uh, this, can you see that? Look at that. Here's, here's one page of it. All right. I have a confession to make. I didn't do the layout. Mrs. Creek did the layout. Are there instructions on this layout, Mrs. Creek? That's one side. Okay, no. Then, um, of course, it's a two-page layout. This is a page kit. It's a page kit. But what? I'm moving it slow. But um, what you want to show? You're upside down. I'm upside down. That one's upside down. Let's get it right. In the in the TP corner, can you get the TP on there? The TP. Yeah, get the TP. Is that toilet paper or TP? We talking about. There's a TP in the corner. Oh, there it is. Okay, if you show them that. There's the TP. If you stack, if you cut the large one, get it. Get, yeah. If you cut the large hex and then go back and cut the small hex, you get that outline hex, which is really cool. Okay. And then the triangles on there are the base card that I cut. And then I trimmed off the triangles and added them to the layout. Now show them the other corner where we have the journaling box. The journaling box. Of course. The journaling okay, box. Okay. That's the large hex. Oh, down here. Mm -hmm. Right here. The that's the box. large hex with a stencil. We have the line stencil, and that's exactly what I use it for. So you have a really nice um, lines for journaling. So this layout includes 
all of the paper and the instructions and five packages of self-adhesive pearls. You have to have the die in order to get the shapes. What die? The triangle gatefold card die. Can they order it with the bundle special and 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 ship and ship it at the same time? Yes. So it's on the website now? Yes, or they can just be inspired and make one themselves. What's it called? It's called Summer Fun Page Kit, mm -hmm. and there are several page kits on the website. Summer Fun, doobie doo doo. There you go. How about that? All right. Anything else, Mrs. Creek? I think that is it. Does anybody have any questions? Anybody have any questions tonight or anything else that we missed or anything? Sunshine oh. Code ends when? The end of the month, July, is there 30 or 31 days? I'm saying month? 30th at this point. July the 30th, July the 30th. The die will go through the cuddle bug. Unsure about the length of the platform on the cuddle bug. So I'm not sure about the length, but it will go through. Okay. Did you get that? I need to see the card again. Lay, what card are you looking for? Which card, for? Lay? Lee, it's Lee. Lee. Lee, which card are you looking for? Oh, the tractor card or the other one? The gatefold. Gatefold? Triangle gatefold card. Are you looking at the... Uh, which one? I showed... The one I showed, you made I showed, tonight. The one I made the tonight? One you, the one you made tonight. Okay. And then they want to know about what kind of paper that you used for the card stand. Okay. Yes, there you go. There's the card we made tonight, Lee. Okay, it has a belly band. I'm going to take the belly band off. See, there's a belly band, and then the card opens up just like that. That's just one version. One of many versions, Lee. Anybody so else? when we when we cut the card when we cut the card stand, you can cut it on any kind of uh, paper that you have. If you're using lightweight paper like 65 pound, then I just cut two of them and adhere them together. And um, it does work better on 80 or 110 pound paper. So it just depends what you have. And if it's lightweight, just adhere two of them together. Okay, I think we're good. And we're coming next week, right? Yes. What is, this is, what is today's date? The 14th? Yes. We'll be back on the 21st with a new and exciting card to share with you crafters. Can't wait to see you. Uh, are we finished, Mrs. Creek? We are. With that, may the Lord keep you and bless you. We're glad to have you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Thanks for your business. Uh, and thanks, yes. for, thanks for just we hanging out. Us. She'll see us Thursday. Can't wait to see you Thursday. Thanks. See ya. Bye-bye.